Americans love bacon and hot dogs, but Dr. New Research shows that eating too much of these can be really bad for you. That's right. Tonight I have the details on a new study that actually found a link between processed red meat and dementia. Beef, pork, lamb. The U.S. is one of the largest consumers of red meat in the world, and it's putting us at higher risk of health conditions like heart disease and type 2 diabetes. Now researchers have found a direct link between processed red meat and dementia. Processed red meat. Dr. Daniel Wen is a nutritional epidemiologist at Mass General Brigham. He and his team looked at the dietary habits of more than 133,000 health professionals, specifically on their consumption of both processed red meat, like bacon, hot dogs and sausages, which contain high levels of salt and preservatives, and unprocessed red meat, like steak and ground beef. They found that those who ate the most processed red meat, on average a quarter serving per day or more, had a 13 percent higher risk of dementia compared to people who barely ate any. We found very consistent evidence that higher processed red meat intake is associated with uh, higher risk of de dementia. The same level of risk was not found among people who consumed higher amounts of unprocessed red meat though people who ate either unprocessed or processed meats were more likely to self-report problems with memory loss and cognitive decline. If you can try to decrease your red meat intake, especially the processed red meat intake, at any time point during your life, that will help your cognitive health. So if you're going to eat red meat, choose unprocessed red meat, like the ground beef found in a hamburger, and of course, skip the bacon. The researchers also found that substituting red meat with nuts and seeds in particular, but also poultry, fish and low-fat milk, can reduce your risk of dementia and preserve brain health. Eating processed red meat actually contributes to dementia, but researchers believe it may boil down, of course, to the effect of the gut microbiome, and that's an area that they plan to study further. Wow. So I guess before you get your sausage and pepper sub, you should remember it could put you at higher risk of heart disease, diabetes, and now dementia. Maybe just for special occasions. Yes. Doctor, thank you. You're